वेरी वॉम जय हिंद टू एवरी वन इन दी ऑगस्ट ऑडियंस आई एम ऑल्सो ग्रेटफुल टू दी ऑर्गेनाइजिंग कमिटी फॉर गिविंग मी अ चांस टू प्रेजेंट माई पेपर दैट इज सिनो इंडिया बॉर्डर डिस्प्यूट एंड इट्स रोड फॉर मैनेजमेंट बिफोर आई स्टार्ट प्रेजेंटिंग माई पेपर I would like to give out a small brief about myself so that you all are introduced to the speaker. The death of a commanding officer of an infantry battalion is not a small thing but a big issue and that is how it happened on 5th of may 2020 when kal santosh babu of 16 bihar regiment lost his life at the galwan valley the chinese intruded and objected to a road being made on our side and they attacked a small team led by the co with cudgels and baseball bats wrapped with barbed wire the co a jco and another jawan lost his life so this is what the chinese have been doing to grab territory and post independence this has been a technique and there have been skirmishes all along one of the largest boundaries that is extending to about 3000 kilometers starting from the akshay chin the ladakh area all the way down to the nepha which now is arunachal pradesh 2017 there was a 73 day standoff at doklam and also in september 20 gun shots were fired which the indian army supposedly fired to ward off aggressive patrolling as warning to the chinese because that is a area where people on both the sides the pla and our army are not supposed to carry arms but then when the chinese have broken rules we cannot lie dogo and just keep following rules we also have to take an aggressive posture to stop their misgivings In 2019 itself there have been 660 LSE violations and 103 aerial air violations which is not a small number and supposedly China is basically doing all this because India is growing as a regional superpower and they want to show their dominance in the southeast asian region the south china sea also the indo us alliance which is growing and there are exercises of joint military operations being carried out in the pacific which are giving scares and nightmares to china and post covid as we all have seen these commissions and actions have quite a bit increased that again is a matter of worry that is because supposedly it is thought that china may be trying to ward off attention because the world was thinking that the covid or the pandemic has happened because of them so they thought of warding off the attention by creating these activities so that the world doesn't think of the pandemic reasons also india's alliances and military exercises with japan australia are a matter of worry for china because that will hamper their own activities or plans of creating the string of pearls by 
taking Nepal, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh and also trying to take Bhutan and Sikkim, Myanmar into their folds. Already Pakistan is indebted to China. So since 2020 onwards, divisions from the Western Theatre Command of the PLA's ground force, the 4th Motorized Infantry, the 6th Mechanized Infantry Divisions have moved units towards the LAC in Eastern Ladakh, reinforcing the existing deployment. The divisions have stayed in the Eastern Ladakh area from May 2020 onwards till about February 21, following which they rotated the 6th and the 11th Motorized Divisions of the PLF Air Force and PLA Rocket Force deployed in support. Also, post Galwan, our own army has beefed up the area with an overall increase in the deployment against China in these sectors. The northern, the central and the eastern sectors. It has caused the 14 core based in Leh, the 17 and the 33 core in Sikkim and the 3 core and the 4 core in the eastern sector. There are also proposals for reorganize the 14th infantry division in the northwest sector and the Indo-Tibetan border force has moved closer to the border areas with the army behind it create an aggressive posture in case of a happening of the 62 is tried by the Chinese PLA army. Now giving you a bit of the genesis of this Sino-India border dispute. Over the last 70 decades, this has been a on and off battle or a war which has been going on. Both the nations came into existence, the China around the early 50s, our country in 47 and both have started growing and developing. In the initial formative years, there were no disputes and also during this time, our erstwhile Prime Minister Jawala Nehru was told to take a beefed up military structure along this border but he was not conducive to that idea at that time. But when the Tibet Autonomous Area was overtaken by the PLA and a road of about 179 kilometers built into that area and the claim for the Akshay Chin area which supposedly the Indian maps since British time have been shown in our territory was a cause for major concern and that is when Joharlal Nehru objected to these Chinese aggressive postures He sent memorandums and wanted to have meetings. But then, when the Chinese took over Tibet and Dalai Lama flew out and was given exile in our country, China took it to heart that India is not ready to sort out these border disputes and these skirmishes during those periods increased. A package deal was also struck because China wanted the NEFA which now is Arunachal Pradesh. And this package deal was basically that Akshay Chin be given to us and Arunachal Pradesh be given to them. 
but this was not acceptable by our governments and china took it that india is not interested in any discussion and to bully us china attacked india in 1962 on both the eastern and the northern sectors and as we were not ready for it it was a humiliating defeat and a debacle which we still remember but the indian army has learned its lesson and since then has not let china off on a loose rope this area has been under di dispute since the british times because at that time the britishers wanted this area to be demarcated because the britishers who were a force to reckon with in the 19th century were scared the tsarist russia which could roll over and come into their territory of india or tibet and nepal at that time the surveyor general of india sir w h johnson made a boundary demarcating of the kunlun mountains and putting it into our territory to impress the dogra rulers of that time and then in 1897 Sir John Ardha also gave sanction to that area and put Akshay Chin into the map of the British Empire at that time, and that is how, till today, we take that sanctity and put Akshay Chin into our own area. And again later on, in 1899, the McCartney McDonald line was. drawn and presented to beijing but that was never officially acknowledged by the manchu dynasty of the then ruling china like i said the britishers were in a hurry to draw a line because they were scared the tsarist russia coming into and invading their territory but then in 1917 the october revolution happened and the ussr was formed so the map stayed where it is and the boundary which was created though not accepted by beijing was taken as the line of actual control and also in the nefa area the mcmohan line which was created was never accepted by china and chinese always took nefa as their own and have been intruding into that area and that has been a major reason for these skirmishes that have been taking place all along this border to sort out all this a tripartite conference was convened at shimla in october 1913 which was fraught with controversies right from the beginning for instance the chinese objected to tibet's equal representation were and were adamant about pushing tibet's inner line as the outer boundary but as the negotiations went on and on and in march 14 the chinese representative reluctantly agreed to a lawn line which was drawn which was called the mcmohan line and on the map it ran along the highest crest of the assam himalayas included tawang within the british indian territory the shimla conference ultimately failed to align the indo tibetan border and the chinese government like i said never ratified the mcmohan line and as the assam government was not intimated about this shimla conference they put tawang into tibet and thus when all this was not focused upon 
because of the first world war and the second world wars coming in so also during the second world war the britishers never took any attempts to defend tawang and thus china unofficially claims it is their territory therefore the three major factors which has kept escalating this dispute to irreturnable heights are initially nehru never focused on the border dispute saying that it would raise the sleeping dogs and then was the tibet autonomous area and finally not acceptance of the mcmohan line also when there have been negotiations between zhao and nehru the package deal that said that indian positions in the eastern sector may be accepted for the chinese position in the western sector which was not acceptable by our government and the chinese took it that india again is not interested in any discussion so throughout the talks have been falling and there has been no solution in line also since the present government has taken over there have been many meetings between the two premiers that is modi and zeping in person off the ground in summits the topics have been broached up confidence building measures have been suggested but yet as of today no solution seems to be in sight though there has been on papers backing off of the forces from the borders but then infrastructures on both sides especially on the sine side is on a high our roads also are being extended out up and bro is being given a task for doing the same and throughout the years our prime ministers and their premiers have been meeting there have been talks and conferences at different levels starting from the colonels to the co commanders and diplomatic relations and then there have been agreements like the agreement of maintenance of peace and tranquility agreement on confidence building measures in the military field along the line of actual control in the indo china border areas then pacts and pledges of non aggression prior notification of any large movements in the border area and exchange of maps in case of any disagreement along the line of actual control no aggressive patrolling along the lac and also the rule of no use of firearms or the soldiers were denied to carry firearms in those areas but then these had been kept in control but as usual the chinese instigate something which our armed forces or our government cannot tolerate and these have been happening though there are many agreements in place and it is only for time to see what happens along the line of actual control ladies and gentlemen of this august gathering as this has been an recorded session i would like you to please see my youtube channel and if there are any queries please write it down in the comment section and they will be aptly answered to your satisfaction thank you jai hind